Good afternoon. I'm Floyd Cotton. Remember here at River Road Presbyterian Church, the church that makes a difference. And I'm sitting here with Danya Ransom, a longtime friend of mine here at the church. In fact, the first person I ever met at the church. And uh, we were just discussing uh, the first Sunday I appeared here at church with my wife Nancy. We had moved here from California. Uh, having lived there 50 years, we were looking for churches to join. And uh, we had heard that uh, River Road was very friendly. We walked in the first Sunday, and after the service, eight people walked up to, to say hello to us, uh, among whom was Danya and her husband, Tom. And I commented to Nancy that I, I'd like to go back to that church again. We went back the next Sunday. Uh, once again, five or six people came over, and including uh, Tom and Danya. And Danya said, would you like to join us for lunch? And she said, we're just going to Arby's, but why don't you come along? So we did, and uh, uh, Sally and Pete Sykes were there, waiting for us. Well, Pete was clerk of session at the time. We had a great time. Pete had Pete was uh, had a thousand jokes. It was, uh, and Nancy said it's the only person I've ever met that had more jokes than you did. I think it was his Irish humor. Anyway, as we were driving away, I said to Nancy, "I said, well, I know what church I'm going to go to," and her comment was, "Well, so do I." And so the following week, we called uh, Bob Bratcher and I said, you got a new member. <laughs> and that's how it was. I don't know if you, I've told you that story before, surely. So, anyway, Donnie is here this, this afternoon because she's made some comments to me as we were sitting uh, about how she has seen the staff pivot in this COVID-19 and help us so much members of the church. Would you mind mentioning that? Too? I'll be glad to, Floyd. Um, first, I must say that if Tom and I had any small part in your favorable impression of River Road Presbyterian Church, I feel very gratified. Oh, so well, it was you. You. wonderful to have you here. But I do feel that, that our church leaders, the staff and the session and the diaconate and others have done remarkable things in charting out new trails where there were no signposts to follow and most likely seminaries don't usually offer a class in church leadership during a pandemic. But in spite of everything that's happened in the last seven months, our leaders have managed to support and minister to the members of our congregation when there have been deaths and illnesses and so forth. The, um, we have been able to continue to provide education and spiritual growth to adults as well as the children and even launched a new children's learning center which is, has been successful. Also our mission efforts both in the community and beyond have been successful and we've carried those out. The staff with the help of the um, task force has encouraged membership to communicate with each other, to reach out and, and to, to be in contact and to help when needed. needed. And, and a lot of meals have been delivered to sick people, people with surgery or other people. And it's just been remarkable to see other aspects of the congregants efforts to keep things going are the continuing or is the continuing support of financial help to the church. And in some cases, I understand that members have given more than what they pledged just to offset the, uh, the lack of funds coming in from those people whose incomes have been hurt by the pandemic. All this is, is we still don't know where it's all going and it's not over yet, but with our patience, with prayer, with the guidance of God's spirit and hard work, we will get through it. We are getting through it. And I am confident that, that we will come through this stronger when the pandemic is over. I think I, I think I remember that this is about the time of the year we are in stewardship season, or maybe beginning it. I'm not sure what the dates are. But I just wanted to mention one thing that I heard in a stewardship message some 40 years ago back in, when we lived in Pennsylvania. The pastor was closing his message with why we give to the church. 
And he ended with this sentence saying, give according to your ability to love. And that has stayed with me. What a great analysis or, or perspective on, on stewardship. Danya, thank you so much. You're I, welcome. I, I really appreciate that. Glad to be here. Very good. And I hope each of our members is blessed by God and their friends as well. We ask that God bless America.